Welcome to Win Win Live. This is Tony Poulos. I'm the contributor editor at Telecom TV. And today we have with us Emilio Flores Madero, who is the CEO of GTAC in Mexico, together with Victor Zhao, who is optical transmission president of Huawei, with us to share their experiences and insights in building ultra-large bandwidth optical networks for sustainable service growth in Mexico. Firstly, to you, I'd like to know exactly, as a leading wholesale bandwidth operator in Mexico, GTAC has achieved some great achievements and recognition in the recent years. Can you give us a bit more background? GTAC is one of the largest bandwidth um, uh, operators in Mexico. We have been operating since 2010. 2010, we got a concession from the, from the government, in which we work for, uh, through a CFE network of um, OPGW network, uh, operating two lines. And after that, we have been in the market for almost 14 years. The important thing here is that we have been using technologies that have been allowed us to transmit a lot of, lot of traffic. We're going to talk about that. But I, I think, I think uh, uh, one of the main things here is that at, through the technology that we have used, uh, provided by Huawei, we have done a very good job doing all this. And what is important? It's important because we have been operating for more than uh, 25,000 kilometers. Those kilometers have allowed us to go nation nationwide. And we're using that technology, we have been able to go to places in which before it was a little bit complicated to be there. Our, our uh, partners, which are Televisa, Megacable, and Telefonica, they have provided us technology, resources, money, to be able to get into those, into those places. Not doing the last mile, because last mile has been done by them, not by us. But it, this has allowed us to go to places in which the technology has enabled people who before didn't have that, that, uh, that entry to technology, and it has helped us to do all of these things. Right now, we are using around 75 terab uh, terabytes per second of uh, transmission, which has allowed us to, right now, transmit around 122 million songs in, t in 60 seconds, which is a huge, huge, huge uh, capacity in Mexico. So we're doing it. Of course, we're not the only ones. We have uh, competitors, and we are doing, through our network, seven other vendors who use our networks and our, our, our hardware. Mainly the three I just mentioned, two other ones who are AT&T and uh, Total Play, and the other one uh, which is part of the government, which is called Altal Networks, and part of Axel Networks. So if you see, this is huge. This is humongous, and we have been doing it for a long, long time. Now, also, business development cannot be achieved, of course, without leading networks. Can you share with us how you built a leading optical network to support business development in particular? Yes, of course. I mean, all, all optical networks are covering right now the country. No? We have a network that uh, features big, big uh, bandwidth. Uh, it's high reliability and also a agile infrastructure, which give us a very good uh, time to market uh, service, our partners, are doing this very, very, very fast. And as a matter of fact, if we don't have this technology at this point, we're going to be able to do what we're trying to achieve as operator, as our partners, and what the customers are they wanting to, to receive. No? On your side, all networks will be will able to use super C bandwidth at six uh, tera, uh, terahertz per, which is a frequency which right now we're not being able to commercialize yet. But well, we're moving towards to that, no? And in the core, the nodes are going to be deployed on the 800 Gs, which uh, in a wavelength uh, uh, side is going to be a huge increase in capacity, no? Right now, we have done tries uh, on, on 400 and in 800, which this is a cost uh, increase, uh, a cost reduction impressive. We have been around 30% reductions on these things. So it's really moving really fast, no? We have right now achieved, as I was mentioning you, over 75 terabits per second, which is a huge traffic uh, capacity. And if you work around this and you work around the 3Ds, meshes, and all these things that were being developed by vendors like you, are available, uh, uh, making available capacity to reduce fiber cuts, to be more faster on repairing things and also improving our network availability. You know? Victor, GTAC has made some really wonderful development on the transport network, but how is 400G and 800G progress going globally? Uh, you know, we found uh, some new words, 
with the uh, can regeneration 28 meg megabyte from Sora. And it means uh, the DC track traffic will go uh, sharply. I think it carries for uh, see the uh, uh, AI area opportunity. You can get the business growth. Uh, actually, Huawei have launched the new generation 400 and 800 G solution. Is the uh, distance is longer than the industry, more than 28 percent, and it is even you know the 400 G, even 800 G, the cost per bit is uh, is uh, I think 50 percent uh, reduced than the uh, 100 G uh, prevalence. Uh, actually, you know 400 G longer distance for a very very longer salaries from the bike bound, mm -hmm. and also 800 G for between the DC. I think uh, this is the best TCL for the customer. We have uh, also deployed more than 100 uh, network in uh, globally. And this is the benefit. We can save the cost per bit. This is our benefit. Emilio, how do you plan for future network construction? and network evolution to support sustainable service developments. We are continuously modernizing the existing network that we have to improve network coverage, which is what we were doing. No? That's what we are, are for. Services should be easily accessed to the nearest uh, sites. We have over 175 uh, sites right now. We really need fast DTMs, no? which uh, are a service requirement. So with that, we can really move fast and we can do things that our customers are looking for. No? The other side is that we need to continue the network uh, capacity. We need to expand the 400G deployment that we have already started. We are going to start to commercialize it uh, in the next couple of months. We're going to start to receive this from our vendor, Huawei. Uh, and we're really uh, very, very excited that we, in all the tests that we did, they, were, they went very well, and now we're testing 100G. And 100G we did in Monterey, and it's doing very, very fast, and although still the network is not ready yet, we are the first ones who have done it in Latin America. So we're very proud of what happened, and we're going to be doing it really soon. That's why um, we need to enhance the network automation and the management of that network, which is really important and key for the things that we do and the, what we're looking at on the future, and also to serve more users and more enterprises. We are serving over 60 million people right now, and over, I will say, we have over 3,000 services, which could be a lot of enterprises that we serve right now. So Victor, what is Huawei's thinking that can help operators for business success? Okay, I'm very really happy to work with Tidak to deploy the 800G and the Super C commissioning network. It means important milestone for Huawei, ultra high speed and the large capacity of OTN solution. We think 400G and 800G match backbone is the innovation direction. And the new speed generation can get uh, the benefit from industry chart. And the mesh network can reduce the network latency and uh, very high availability. Uh, Huawei can continue uh, innovative and uh, provide high quality and uh, high reliability. And also we can, uh, in the bike bound, we can uh, create a new solution uh, to, to help I think Vivian with GTAC can achieve the business success for it's for bike bond. And even for Metro, we, we have uh, one we have one strategy. It means one times uh, one fiber for the order service. It can cover uh, 2C, 2H and also 2B service. This is the first one. And the second one is the one time go to site. It means all engineer uh, go to the site, connect the fiber, and forget it. Everything can be uh, commissioned, can be used the software. The second one, and the last one, I think, is one architecture for future dedicated years. It means our architecture should be uh, should guarantee the boundaries and also latency and also for future AI future.
Thank you for joining us here at Win Win Live. Uh, it's a great story. Congratulations to both of you. And let's see some more success coming from GTAC and Huawei together. See you next time.